Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so happy to have you here. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, we are so happy to have you back watching another one of our how-to cooking videos. So in this particular video, we will be making a creamy, cheesy, delicious, and just mouth-watering meal. We will be making cheese grits. Now, if you're anything like me, I used to struggle with making cheese grits in the past, but I have perfected my recipe, and hopefully this recipe will help any one of you who may have trouble making grits or just want to perfect your recipe altogether. So if any of that sounds like you, I would encourage you to keep watching. So let's get into the ingredients. The first thing you're gonna need is one cup of quick grits, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, three slices of American cheese, one cup of milk, one tablespoon of butter, one and a half tablespoons of powdered chicken flavored bouillon, and one teaspoon of paprika. And lastly, four cups of water. You'll need a medium to large size saucepan, and you're gonna go ahead and add the water to that, and you wanna bring that water to a boil. Next, we're gonna go ahead and whisk in the chicken bouillon, the paprika, and also the grits. Now it's important that you mix the grits in with a whisk or a spoon to keep the grits from clumping together. I know that's an issue that a lot of people have when they make grits. The more you stir, the better and smoother your grits will turn out in the end. Next, you want to lower the temperature to really low because you want these grits to simmer. Then you're gonna add the lid to the pot and we're gonna let that simmer for about five minutes. So the key to this recipe is eyeballing it. So after about five minutes of allowing the grits to simmer, you're gonna, you got it, stir it some more. Now you wanna be really careful when stirring grits. You wanna make sure that you kinda cover the top of it to keep the grits from jumping back at you. So, so far, 10 minutes have passed since we placed the grits inside of the pot. As you can see, I'm stirring even more. And you can also notice that the consistency of the grits are getting a little bit thicker. That's what we want. So once it gets to that consistency, you wanna go ahead and add the milk. You don't want them to be too thick and clumpy before adding the milk because that's a little bit more elbow grease. So you wanna stir in the milk and get it in there nice and slowly and stir some more. Remember guys, the important thing with cooking grits is stirring. It's so important. After adding the milk, now is a good time to add the butter. Now it's time to add the cheese. You wanna go ahead and add that cheddar cheese in there. Now the cheese gives the grits a nice yellow color anyway, but I added the paprika because it gives it a fuller, richer yellow color, and it kind of makes your grits look really delicious. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add those three slices of American cheese. This is something my grandmother has always done, so I always add sliced American cheese to my cheese grit recipe. Now that we have the cheese all mixed in, you can see the consistency of the grits has changed quite a bit. It's still a little bit runny, so we're gonna add the lid and let it simmer for about five minutes. So 
So now that we have the cheese incorporated, we're going to go ahead and continue to stir the grits. Guys, you know what happens when you add cheese to any potted meal, cheese sticks to the bottom. So you wanna make sure after five or so minutes, you continue to stir. After about five minutes, you can already begin to see that the cheese and the grits have meshed or married together. So at this point, we're not going to add the lid, but we're going to let it simmer for about five more minutes uncovered. And this gives it time and an opportunity to breathe and thicken up even more. Now that the grits are at the consistency that I find favorable, we're gonna go ahead and spoon this into a bowl and you can see how creamy and delicious and smooth these grits look. We hope you've enjoyed this recipe of our version of creamy, cheesy grits. We hope that you can try this at home for your family, friends, or even your coworkers. You can always modify the recipe to your liking. We wanna thank those of you who have come back to see us here. And for all of you new amazing subscribers, we are so grateful to have you. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button by becoming a family member of ours here at the Crockett Way and be sure to hit that bell just so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. If you like our videos and our recipes, please let us know down in the comments below because we would love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, may you have a blessed day and we will see you guys in the next video. And remember, we upload at least twice a week. God bless.